My most memorable was the Peru trip. In 2007, I took a team out there. Probably 50 children in the orphanage, some totally deaf, couldn't hear a word, some very, very deaf. And it was a Catholic organisation and the, the people who were running it were all Catholic nuns. So we quickly made friends and we learned how to say hello and good morning, all these things in sign language. When I was, did my, my recce trip, the most moving thing was morning service because there was a large quadrangle and all the children stood in the quadrangle looking up at the wall and on the wall was the sign, finger sign of the Lord's Prayer. And they said the Lord's Prayer, not a sound. All the, all the children signing in unison. So, all the projects that I've worked on, we've had a good team that have worked hard. Sometimes you, you see someone who you think maybe it's, this is not right for them. They get there and suddenly it all changes. And, uh, well, I know that many people have come back and said, what a difference has made to their lives. And of course, people, a lot of people have done three, four trips. They come back and do another one, do another one. Clearly, I think the beneficiaries are the, are the people who, who benefit the most. When we turn lives around, you know, buy a piece of equipment for a village and, and suddenly they, they can do something they could never do before. Um, but equally, um, the people who go, like me, I think, are suddenly brought up to what the world is really like. You know, we live in all this luxury, we go to the supermarket, get food, we turn a tap. You say to some people, uh, you turn the tap up. What's a tap? They don't know what a tap is. Every project I've been on, I've enjoyed immensely. But I mean, I would say, go for it, and, you know, it could change your life.